Hello and welcome to this fast review of this Eochin H8 Mini Quadcopter. This is from Banggood and it cost, well at least at the time I got it, total of 13 bucks. <laughs> that is cheap. So let's see what we have inside the box. I opted out to get a white version. You can get it also in black. And I have a mode 2 controller with the throttle on the left side. So you get a quad capture, controller, and pack of goodies that contain a screwdriver, some foam pads that you can stick under your quad to soften the landings, the lead for the charging of the battery, and two spare props. Well, pretty bent ones, but the plastic is pretty soft, just bend them to the right shape. And there's an instruction manual. You'll get all the basics from that. Here we have the quad capture itself. Um, you can fit it inside of your palm. It's 77 millimeters motor to motor across the board. It has prop guards, pretty flimsy ones, but they get the job done. <laughs> More bent props. You want to go through all of them and bend them to the right shape and check that they spin freely. I had one prop that didn't spin freely, but Pulling it out a bit and it started working okay. Underneath the quad, we have the battery, one battery that comes with the quad. It's 150 milliamp hours and with an amperage rating of 30C. And this is the charging lead that you get with the package. Well, it's a pretty standard lead with a micro lossy uh, connector. Just plug the battery in and plug the other end to the USB port. You can charge only one battery at a time. The charging time is around 40 minutes. Let's take, check the weight. The quad itself is 16 grams and the battery it's around 6 grams. The scale isn't very precise as you can see from here. Total is 20 grams. Yeah, precision. And now we move on to the controller itself. As you can see it's pretty small, like made for a 3 year old child. It's well, you have to have a small controller so that the package itself can be, be pretty small, but that can make flying a bit frustrating at times. Behind the door that is held on with the screw, there are places for three AA batteries. And you have the basic trimming buttons, controlling sticks, sensitivity, adjustment, and well, that's about it. You might want to install these foam feeds under the quad. They soften those hard landing landings that you eventually will get just peel off the adhesive part and stick them on they will get the job done to get everything ready for flight you just insert the battery connect the battery lead you get some nice flashing leds 
like that. And after that, you just power on the transmitter. And that's pretty much it. The manual says that you have to use throttle during the startup procedure to get the binding done, but for my quad, it didn't require that. Even though the controller is pretty small, you can get pretty precise flying out of this machine. Well, you have to use very small movements to achieve this. But that's it. I can recommend this for a first time pilot because the flying is easy and if you bump into something there is really no damage to your capture or your property. So just be brave and fly away. And here you can see how those prop cards work. And well, as you can see, they do a pretty good job. The idea is not, well, <laughs> at least in our place, the idea is not to protect uh, furniture, but uh, those tiny props that will fly away if you hit something. This way you can just keep flying, bumping into things, and, for example, flying against the roof and well, just keep on flying. Yep. This is the first time flying this outside. Everything is ready. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm have to home. And this is also the first time that I'll try the headless mode. Still in normal oh, mode. Mm -hmm. And now in headless mode and whoops. See mm -hmm. to do flips you just press the right controller stick. So and I opt it out to fly in normal and flick it to the side you want to make a flip now trying some flips. towards. And it works pretty great. If you can keep the props on. doesn't require that much room to do the flip, so you can do them in inside too. <laughs> Those <laughs> props just keep coming off. And here we have some well, normal flying with some banked turns and the quad can handle them quite easily if you have the thumbs for it. So all in all, I can recommend this quad highly because it's well, like I said, 13 bucks. <laughs> it's basically nothing, and you can get a controller. And this is uh, not an infra infrared link, but a true radio, so you get more range. It should be like 30 meters or something like that. Yeah, get one fast. Link in description.